Guys, we are back at True Rest Float Spa. I am here with Chris. Chris has been so nice and he is letting us use his facilities again. Today's video is going to be using his oxygen bar. So Chris, can you kind of give me a breakdown on why oxygen bars work or what they're for? Yeah. So the reason we have an oxygen bar here, first of all, we super relax people as they float in the float pods. And then out here, we give them oxygen. 10% of your energy is coming from what you eat and drink. The other 90% of your energy comes from oxygen. So we're just trying to give them a boost of energy before they head out the door. Guys, I'm not even in the video today. Today's video is all Kevin and Grace. I'll see you later. In today's video, we are at True Rest Float Spa to see if breathing pure oxygen can make us superhuman. Hey friends, we're here at True Rest Float Spa and we are going to be breathing some oxygen today. We got different scents so you can see many different colors so we get to choose. I like eucalyptus. I like to put eucalyptus oil in the diffuser at home and just makes a good scent relaxing in the air. But Grace is go pick this clear one. I'm a little basic. I'm just gonna go with some pure oxygen. That way there's no scent. It's just me and the O2. Here's the basic idea. We're going to do a control set of exercises breathing oxygen at the oxygen bar set of exercises, and then breathing pure oxygen from our oxygen tank and doing the set of exercises as well. We're gonna be doing push-ups, holding our breath, and running to see if breathing increased oxygen can increase our performance. All right, so we're about to go with our controls, but we got these nifty gadgets here. So this is an O2 sensor that you just put on your finger. So you can see it's started. And you just slide your finger on there like that. So it's gonna tell us what the O2 is in our blood, and then it's gonna give us our minimum heart rate at the moment. So I'm at a 97, and my heart rate is going down to about 66, 65. It's up there a little bit. Maybe I'm a little nervous because I gotta compete against this athlete over here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to run first, then we are going to do holding our breath, then we'll do some push-ups, and then do dumbbell curls. So we're in Salt Lake City, around. We're a little south in Provo, and we're around 4,200 feet. So normally our atmosphere is about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, but up here it's a little bit less. So we're at around like 17.8% oxygen. Air's a little bit thinner, right? A little bit thinner, especially us coming from LA and North Carolina where it's Ooh. definitely at sea level or a little bit above. We felt it a little bit moving up here. Yeah, so hopefully this oxygen bar will help us, you know, acclimate better. Or maybe we'll feel a little bit normal. So we will find out because it does help, right? Training at altitude, a lot of Olympic athletes will train at altitude. So like Denver is around 5,200 feet. That's around, I think it's like 17.1% of the oxygen that's in the atmosphere. So when they're going back down to sea level to compete, right? That's like only a one to 2% increase. Just enough, but what? still you feel the impacts when you're back at sea level. Definitely. I mean, that can be the difference between getting silver and getting gold in the Olympics. Now- we... I'm going for gold, I don't know about you. All right, well, I'm going for platinum, which is one above gold. Whatever. So we'll see how that works. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's get to running. So if you didn't know, I'm also an American Ninja Warrior. Compete on that show. I am absolutely not. <laughs> she was a professional gymnast for 12 years? Yep, I was a level eight gymnast when I quit. And I was 32 hours a week in the gym and hanging out. So I guess I'm, I'm like a mini ninja. <laughs> so I gotta compete against that. Uh, we're just gonna use the iPhone here and we are gonna run from this light post over here to the light post down there. That's gonna be our ah! control. And she's off. She decided to cut it short a little bit. Grace, get back here. We gotta do this for real. Go! Woo! Eight seconds. Eight seconds? Eight seconds. Eight seconds. All right. All these cars are like, what's happening? <laughs> We're getting serious up in here. So serious that the hair's going in a party pony. <laughs> breathe it out, breathe it out, breathe it out. Go, 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 go. Hey. 965. There we go. We got Grace's control run. I don't know about you, but uh, 
I feel like I'm back in like my PE classes where I had to do all that like testing to see if I was in shape. To our second trial here for our control, we're just going to be holding our breath. This is going to be a very eventful part of the video. Don't look away. Okay? Stay. One last big inhale and then we'll start it. Okay? Okay, ready? <laughs> we, we didn't do too well. I think we're too close from, from running, but we're uh, just shy of 16 seconds there. <laughs> that was uh, really pathetic. I was like, this has got to have been like a minute already. <laughs> Should we just scratch this? We're going to get some weird comments. 16 <laughs> seconds. All right, well, that's what it is. There's a control. 16 seconds. Oh, it was so pathetic. Now, <laughs> now we got to do push ups and we got to do curls. All right. I'm on it. 30 seconds, how many push-ups can Kevin and Grace do? All right, so we'll get down in push-up position. Two, one, go. Three, two, one. Ah. Here we go, let's start it. Is it one? One. One? One, one, two. <laughs> Two. There's a bug on me. <laughs> we had eight. Yep. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Twenty-one. <sighs> All right. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Gotcha. We're gonna call. Twenty-three. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> you're, you're losing your form. <laughs> you're just throwing your shoulders. Twenty-four. This is not advised. I'm also a certified personal trainer, and I do not approve of this exercise. <laughs> 21 dumbbell curls each arm. That's what we'll start with. Grace will say good form. 23. Sure. Each side. <laughs> I feel like that's fair. So we've got our controls down. We've got the run. We've got holding breath, push-ups, dumbbell curls, just normal oxygen, breathing our 17.8.9% oxygen atmosphere here at 4,200 feet. So we're gonna go inside, meet up with Chris, get hooked up to that oxygen, Woo! and then do these exercises we're again. We're gonna wash our hands too. Whew, that's messy. Whew. All right, now we are in a true rest float spa. We're back in with Chris. He's got the oxygen prepped, so we're gonna put those on. Just the little nozzles to start breathing our oxygen. Look at it bubble. It's a totally relaxing feel just walking into this place. Uh -huh. If you're in the Provo area or anywhere within driving distance, definitely come here and check this out. I've never done an oxygen bar before. I haven't either. So we're gonna put these on for 10 minutes. We're gonna breathe this oxygen for 10 minutes and then do those exercises again. I feel like I have a slight aroma. It smells, uh, I don't know how to compare it to anything, but it still has that like... Clean air smell? Yes, very, very clean. It very much reminds me of scuba diving. Uh, we are both scuba certified as well. So if you wanna see any videos of us scuba diving and doing something funky, put that in the comments below. Put too. it in the comments, please. I don't know about you, Kevin, but I definitely feel more like... I feel relaxed. Ooh, like and opened up. Comfortable. Yes, right? very we, comfortable and relaxed. And it's, it smells nice. Mm -hmm. I like the smell. It's just taking some time to register. And we're at, yeah, 98% oxygen. So I think it's a little bit higher than what I was seeing outside. So I am having one to 2% higher. You ready to go to test? Yeah. Let's, Let's go, go run. <laughs> How did he gain time? How did I do? You gained time. I gained time? Like... Well, 0. 0.6. Tent. Yeah. I feel better though. That's all that matters. So like, I don't have as much trying to catch my breath. Yeah. I do feel more recovered and ready to go again. You want to go again? No. Okay. <laughs> it's Grace's turn. Go, 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 go. Woo! We got an improvement here. 914. Definitely not as winded. You're right. 
It's funny, I can taste, I don't know if you can taste yours, but I can taste the oxygen like I coming. I do still have the eucalyptus taste. scent. Yeah. That scent inside. Well, we didn't eat it. So we're gonna be holding our breath again. We got to beat 16 seconds. Hopefully. Yeehaw. Where are we at? 27. 27, so we did improve. So, we did improve, and I do not think though it is because we <laughs> had the pure oxygen. I right? don't either. We so, took a break this time. Well, there have been videos also that disprove um, and, and research, so like holding your breath doesn't do it. But what I think actually did help is we had oxygen, then we did an aerobic exercise, the running, which is where you're using free oxygen yep. in your muscles to exercise. And we were better recovered after that. Oh yeah. So we weren't breathing as hard. And I think that's what allowed me to hold my breath for this 27 seconds. Not because of the oxygen, but because I was better recovered from the run. I definitely felt more recovered after the run than I did the first time around. Yeah. That's like for sure. So I definitely think that plays a part. Cause they do say holding your breath is all about the training and the learning how to use your full lung capacity. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna move on. We got the push-ups and the dumbbell curls. Now, depending on how fast we're doing them, they could be an anaerobic exercise. So anaerobic means you're not using oxygen in your muscles. Your muscles are actually breaking down the glucose. So like when you're lifting weights, right? You're not breathing that hard, but you're exerting your muscles. So anaerobic is the glucose and the aerobic is the oxygen, like the running. So it'll be interesting to see what these push-ups and curls do. I agree. <laughs> oh. I ate 33 that time, so I did three more. I think I was about 45. Again, I'm losing count. I was making goofy faces to the camera. <laughs> oh, so I was taking this seriously and you weren't? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have fun. Working out is fun. Making these videos is fun. All right, so it we is. saw a little bit of improvement there. I did, and you know, I noticed in the beginning of my push-up set, I wasn't nearly as winded in the beginning yeah. of it. I feel like I could pound through the first like 20 or so and then the last like 13 where I was a little bit like, okay, you're still doing push-ups. But definitely felt like better cranking through those first couple. 19. Man, someone's probably counting these and like, no dude. 20. You're, you're off. That's, if I'm right, that's 21. And I feel okay <laughs> informed to do a couple more. Oh, oh, you, my arms are tired. Left one's done. Okay. Again, felt a little bit better. Not crazy, like superhuman style. No. But a few more. We have a pure oxygen canister. Pure oxygen. Got to go get it out of the truck. We got some balloons and we're going to breathe in some pure oxygen. But we got to be careful. Why, Grace? Because we could get oxygen toxicity. It's not a good thing. So hyperoxia, right, is where you have too much oxygen. I don't think we'll hit that point though. No. I don't think we have a fear of hitting it. good. Him. So we did a little bit of research into this, right? You Just can get that oxygen toxicity if you are breathing in too much oxygen, but it's not about the concentration of oxygen. It's the partial pressure. Partial pressure is incredibly important. We have Dalton's law of Dalton. partial pressure. Good guy. Hey Dalton. John Dalton, <laughs> thank you for your law. Um, and basically the Dalton's law of partial pressure means if we have our air, how we talked about how we're at 17% here, yep. if we take the sum of all the parts of the gases that are in our atmosphere, they will all equal the pressure of air. So if we take oxygen, just oxygen out, and we put it in it by itself in a container, that would be the partial pressure of oxygen, just itself hanging out a contain in a container. So what happens is if we have too much of that oxygen and too much of that partial pressure, then you hit that oxygen toxicity level. Mm. So we're just gonna normally breathe. We'll breathe out and then we'll inhale here. And once these are done, we will put on our little oxygen sensors Finger on our, our fingers and get to exercising. <laughs> Ooh, I feel it. I am feeling like a little lightheaded, <laughs> I think. So my heart rate is 124, my oxygen is 98. And we're seeing that we're around the high 90s. It's not jumping to 100% mm -hmm. with us doing this one right afterwards, which is fine. This is normal. It's okay, yeah. it's not like we need to be at 100%. We're good totally to go. good. All right, 
All right, let's test it. Exercise time. Run, Kevin, run, Kevin, run, Kevin, run! Woo! Come on, did I do it? Nope. Ah! You didn't do it. You're close though. You cut your time down. What am I at? 8.12. 8.12. I'll give it to you. That was good. I really thought you were going to get it at the end. I think it's your finger pushing. It could be. <laughs> Woo, she's cooking this one. Woo, woo. Roughly the exact I same. I think possibly. I did. It was 914 last time. I'm more winded this time. Our pure oxygen, I don't know if it compares to true floats, I'm definitely more winded. We only had like maybe a minute or two minutes breathing the That's pure true. oxygen. Yeah. We're inside 10 it minutes. Ten. It was right in our nose, breathing the whole time. So Definitely maybe, made a difference. Maybe if we had 10 minutes pure of the pure oxygen, oxygen, could have seen a little bit of a difference. Either way, I feel like we'd learned a lot from this experiment. That pure oxygen does make a slight of difference, like you talked about. It's the difference between silver, gold, and platinum in Kevin's case. Yeah, <laughs> platinum. Hey guys, that's it for today, but we always got cool videos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down over there, and we'll see you next time. Talk to you then.